Okay, BKFC 52 weigh-ins are in the books. We are here with one oh, sorry, half of the co- oh, it is a tender little nipple. Uh, <laughs> we're uh, we're here with one half of the co-main event. Tony Loco Soto taking on Kevin Kroom tomorrow night. Um, weigh-ins are in the books. Rehydration. You're ready to go get your steak, your traditional steak. Uh, okay. How are you feeling right now after you're looking into his eyes and uh, having a little selfie up on stage with Kevin Crew? Well, to be honest, I have no personal animosity towards him. Um, it's another fight, another day, another opponent. Ready to go in, come out the same way I came in, undefeated. We are hearing that this is officially a, a title eliminator. How have you been told this? Uh, whether it is or it isn't, it doesn't matter to me. It's just another fight. Could um, be a rumor. Could be a rumor, couldn't, but at the end of the day, you know, 2-0 to a 5-0, you know, what are you going to do? This would move you to 6-0 and in the BKFC, one of the most active fighters on the roster, haven't been beaten yet. Um, do you see any other way they can go other than giving you a shot after moving to 6-0 and if you come out with the victor tomorrow night? I think it would, be, it would make sense, you know, if the fans want it to happen, if the organization wants it to happen, we're here to do it, and I'm ready to bang. And now, a lot of people will say that this is your toughest opponent yet. Kevin Kroom coming from the UFC and the long MMA background. He's a tough guy. He has a couple knockouts. Uh, what are your thoughts on Kevin um, heading into tomorrow night's fight? I always say tough, fighter. tough Tough. doesn't win fights. I think skill wins fights. I think the ability to adjust during fights, um, and you guys already seen, I got that dog in me. I know how to adjust. I know how to, you know, just make the simple adjustments within the fight. And I think with him, he kind of just, you know, just – Rushed in on his opponents, you know, just swarmed them. It's not going to happen with me. I have better head movement than both the guys he fought. I'm one of the fucking most best movers in the ring. Tony, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm laughing right now because you said I got that dog in me, and every time you say the word dog, it flashes back to Albuquerque. Yeah, I'm uh, haunted. The, <laughs> I'm haunted sorry about the little smirk. Um, you're going to have a crowd out here tomorrow night, correct? Oh, yeah, I should. And just so everybody knows, South Carolina is not my hometown. My hometown is Brooklyn, but I do reside in Hickory, North Carolina. So just know that. And all the people that are showing up for me, it's because they're entertained. Are you entertained? Are you entertained? All right, one last thing. How's it going to end tomorrow night? Uh, it's going to end the same way that I'm going in, undefeated. I'm going to go in, make my adjustments, take my time. It's going to make it my fight. I'm not going to let him you know, predict and make the fight go where he wants it to go because it's, it's, it's my fucking ring. He, he hasn't been dragged into deep waters yet in this sport, so if it makes it past the first or second round, you think he's in big trouble? Uh, I, don't, I don't believe in deep water. I, I believe in mud, and that's where he's going to get stuck in the fucking mud. <laughs> there it is. Make sure you pay attention tomorrow night. Co-main event, Tony Soto and Kevin Kroom. Thanks for your time, buddy. Hey,